we may have as solid an offensive line as we've had for a while with Robbie Gambito and Mike Salazar at the tackles and Matt Crisafi and James Johnson inside, uh, you know, and then Trevor Springman has really come on as an outstanding offensive lineman, and we've got some depth behind those guys. But I think as I look at the offense, it's going to, uh, those are the ones that are going to have to take us pretty far. Tight end, Nolan Kearney's right in there with us and do, doing very well. Wide receivers, Ryan Moody as a senior is going to have to have a good year for us in order to, for us to, to move the football and be consistent there. And, uh, you know, Trey McBride played last year as a true freshman at wide receiver, and I would expect him to, to improve a lot there. And the big question people want to know is who's going to take Jonathan Grimes fight and I think we've probably got about four or five guys that we're going to need to take his spot. It's going to be that many. Uh, you know, Meltoya Jones will be one. Uh, Keith McBride, Darnell Laws, Mikhail abdul Sabor has really had a good spring and he should be in there. So we've got we've got a number of good running backs but again it, it, offensive line is going to have to lead us. The one the area that we've really still up in the air is going to be the quarterback situation. It's, we have not decided on a starting quarterback yet. Uh, Brent Caprio, Mike Graham, Rafael Ortiz, uh, Christian Broombar, they all are in the in the mix. They all played well at times in the spring and they all struggled at times. So that'll be a big focus of our of our preseason. Starting there, linebacker wise, we've got two very, very good players coming back, Jabrell Mines and Dante Cook. Now Dante will move inside and you know we need to store, shore up the other position, but those guys can uh, they, they, they're gonna have to produce a lot. Secondary wise, Brian Thompson along with Jabrell is one of our team captains and we'll look for him for a lot of leadership. B.W. Webb at corner uh, should have a breakout year. Jerome Copeland at safety should play very, very well. And then up front, we're a little thin in spring with a couple injuries. Brian Stenney and George Bearhalter were, were out in the spring. We hope they'll be back and be healthy and uh, and ready to go. And then, you know, Steve Stennett, Mike Riley, Jasper Coleman is in there. We've got a, a number of guys that will uh, Nick Zaremba. These guys will gel together and we get those guys healthy. We should be pretty good up front. Drake King will be our, uh, our a punter and place kicker right now. He did that last year and did a pretty good job and he did a good job this spring. We're still looking at the punting situation see if we can lighten Drake's load a little bit but he, he ended up may, may doing the most there. Uh, Andy Topping's an outstanding snapper for us. He's our deep snapper both in field goals and punts and that's a that's a big part there. And, and B.W. Webb I think as a return guy could be as good as there is in the league if people will kick to him so we'll see. But again I feel pretty solid there in, in, the, in the kicking game. Players vote on their on their captains, and this year they selected two, and it's really a little different with both of them being defensive players, Jabril and, and Brian. And these guys have taken upon themselves to incorporate some of the other seniors and like have subgroups under them that work with their position areas, whether it's uh, uh, Matt Krasoff at the offensive line or Ryan Moody with receivers or whatever it might be. And then the, the captains kind of draw them all together and they talk together and they work together. And a lot of it uh, takes place over the summer, and uh, I look for us to have very good, solid leadership this year.